hey guys welcome back to the channel please do like subscribe and leave your comments down below please please guys subscribe and like this video to support the channel enjoy the video thank you so much well -ele. who is your boyfriend and now yo yo i am a fully boyfriend apakum jersey or pori i think i would just naturally go for <laughs> do you love pori because wow yes i love pori I think you guys really love the idea of me and Pori. I just, I never saw it. But I mean, it's time to shame. And there's nothing no one will ever do it for you guys to untangle it. Indians are happy. <laughs> Indians are happy. And you know what? I'm going to let you guys just live with it. It's going to be so sad when you guys actually see who Pori's girlfriend is. It's going to be so sad. And it's not me. It'll be very sad for you guys. It'll be very sad for you guys when I marry someone and it's not Pori. It'll be very sad. But you know what? Just be happy with what you can live with for now. <laughs> How about Tutuzani? Tutuzani Zuma? I never dated Tutuzani. I've only made Tutuzani like once, twice in my life. And it was very, very casual. All that rumor grew late is because you guys like were so invested and we just like were like we ran with it we like we're not going to keep entertaining ourselves whatever you guys think is true is true but the, the truth is that we've never really really um even had like more than 30 minutes conversation um what do you feel you're most understood for um <laughs> i don't know being a hoe <laughs> Thing that everyone that stands next to me that takes a picture with me that speaks with me is dating me i'm like damn you guys really think my kush does not rest how does it work um no i like i'm not that girl um and i I've, i'm also done explaining that i'm not that girl i think i know myself well enough i'm very much self-aware as a person and i think that's why a lot of things don't get to me. And even when I explain them, I will laugh them off unless it's a serious mentor. But I'm really not that girl. You know, I'm in the industry with these people and we we tend to be good friends and just be cordial with each other. You know, and when we're at events taking pictures, I will take the picture because there's nothing sinister about it. You know, even like maybe, yeah, I can look at the Pori videos and be like, OK, I see where people came about with this rumor. But you know we are friends and we 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 close but we're not i would never also if we really are dating put it out like that and not want people to know why was i mean i'm very much aware that when i'm hugging pori or dancing with pori there's a thousand of people taking videos so why would i do it so openly and not want people to know one thing about me though you will never know who i'm dating <laughs> I don't even think I'll even shame like my pregnancy and my kids and my husband in future. Well, that's how I feel now. I don't want to say never, but I do I do feel like it's a part of my life that I would like to keep private, you know, um simply because I just want to give my kids and my husband or my partner a chance to be themselves without being attached to me. Because a lot of things, you know, are taken out of context and it's through one's perspective my husband could be at a restaurant hugging, hugging his sister and someone will see him and be like, oh, Tilly's husband was hugging girls in clubs. So I don't want, or at, at restaurants, I don't want people that are close to me to have an attachment to me that questions their character and who they are. Um, and that's the reason why even with my friends, you'll notice I don't post my friends a lot. I don't post my family a lot. I, most of the time I just post work and, <laughs> and just, you know, work and work that we work on with my team you know every time they do my face i credit because that's vanessa's work and we work as a team so i need to put it out there so she can you know generate more customers same with my hair with color you know same with my outfits it's a whole team effort and i love and respect my team and i value them and i will always credit people that put in the effort to make sure that my brand is the best especially if we all clear in like on the agreement and where the agreement match i act accordingly okay um where are we 
was Generations your first? No, so Generations 1 my, wasn't my first. I started in the industry at the age of 15. I did Crazy E. No, I started off with... Well, I did Crazy E and Chissa simultaneously. So, um, did Crazy E, Chissa, I did Tola, and then Generations, I think, was my fourth. But even prior to that, I was doing, like, uh, commercials. I've done Pin Pop, MTN, Vodacom, um, Conetto. And then Generations was like that big platform that obviously launched me in a bigger scale. But yeah, I've kind of been the gal that's on the go. <laughs> What's your hobby? You know what? I don't, I don't have a hobby. I need to find one. Everything I do is work to me. <laughs> it starts off as a hobby and then all of a sudden it's work. I think, you know, everyone has a different journey in life, you know, and just because it's not happening in the, at the pace that it's happening for another person doesn't mean that it won't happen. But I also do think that to some extent, we also need to be honest about person journey, you know, because I do feel like we often look at other people's progress and success within their path and feel as though like, Maybe we should also dip into that for us to acquire success. So we need to start being more honest with what we love doing, what we are great at doing, what we are good at doing, what we are interested in doing, and lean more towards those things and just be a bit more patient and understand that even the failures, even the rejections of the industry and whatever industry it is, is part of your journey and you take from that and you keep pushing. I think the key to success and the key to everything that progresses, you know, is to keep going. You know, had I, I mean, when I started off DJing, I sucked. Oh my gosh. Like sometimes I'm like, look and I'm like, why were people booking me? But... I had to some extent be like, okay, this is not just child's play for other people. They are DJs. They live and breathe this. Let me pay more respect to this career. And let me, you know, put in the work to practice, to really, really grasp the, the, cra the craft. And can I tell you, when I started becoming a better DJ, things started opening for me. When I started becoming good, I've never stopped DJing. Every single weekend, I am booked. And every single time I step on the deck, people are doubtful. They're like, yo, 2DP, mm -hmm, let's see. Mm -hmm. and, and that is my reason to always get on the deck and deliver. So if I had taken it to heart when people were saying, oh, you suck, whatever, whatever, stop DJing, blah, 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 blah. I would have just stopped and that's where the story would have started and that's where the story would have ended. But I said, okay, instead of me being defensive, let me work on it. Let me push. Let me try to be my best. You know what I mean? And I still do work. I mean, I practice every single day. I don't miss it because I'm not trying to also just be at a comfort zone. I'm trying to be further than this, you know. Um, but it's just you need to keep going and you need to trust and believe in yourself, but also be honest with where you lack so that you can work on those weaknesses. Where are you performing tonight? I am performing at Black Diamond <laughs> in Kimberley. I almost forgot the day. I'm like, oh my God, let me not embarrass my client. Um, a guy who like to wear undies, ladies undies, but I'm not gay. Oh, we would need an expert for this. And also like, I don't even think you need, um, advice on that. If that's what you like doing, carry on doing it. There's, there's no crime to that. But if it makes you question things about yourself that you feel you haven't addressed, then I think an an expert would be the right person to talk to. But for one, I wear a lot of guys' clothes. I even wear guys' underwear too. Like I do wear boxes. <laughs> and I don't think there's anything wrong about that. Um, please, this is not by no means, you know, me justifying that rumor that was um, created about me being gay simply because I was wearing a gay t-shirt. You guys, like, you don't respect me. Today, I'm, I'm dating this one. Tomorrow, I'm dating this one. Tomorrow, I'm dating this one. T t tomorrow, I'm gay. Come on, guys. Give a girl a break. <laughs> um, you are a wholesome woman. Yay, we strive to be. Are you sitting in the shower? No, does it look like I'm sitting in the shower? This is a light. 
Oh, oh, and I and he sell na le champagne ya men di piwe. It's nice being a celebrity. You get, you get free stuff. I was offered a bottle, a bottle of champagne when I arrived. Mm. Mm. Why did you become a DJ? I will be honest and say, you know, when I first started DJing, I mean, I've always loved music. I've always enjoyed music. And I ask my friends, I listen to all kinds of, like when I say all kinds of music, I mean all kinds of music. Um, but I think I got to my to a point in my career when I started analyzing because, you know, I used to gig a lot as an actress because people used to book me for appearances like crazy. I'm like, you really want to see all of this? <laughs> But, I mean, I used to book, get booked a lot, you know, with a lot of DJs as well, artists, blah, 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 blah. And I started loving the scene. And why I started is just I was now, I got to a point in my career where it's like, what next can I do? And what next can I do that's going to allow me to grow in the industry and also make financial sense? So the, that was the basis of why I started DJing. But when I did uh, become a DJ and I started like working in that field I realized it's far beyond that for a lot of people it's a culture and you really need to be immersed in it and put in the work and take it seriously for you to make it you can only get away so much with doing the bare minimum until you have to start doing the real work and I'm 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 not even I'm the one to speak you know because in everything that I've done I've always had to put in more work who is your boyfriend and now you Yo, I a fully boyfriend. Apa kuma? Kanti jani koleta. Jersey or Pori? I think I would just naturally go for. <laughs> Psych. No man, they both dope, and they both like just my friends, dope people, you know. And stop closing your chances, Ndim. Hey, you guys should be shooting your shorts. Ne busy. Ne worry, lam. Is this how you speak, Gandhi? What, how else do you want me to speak? You guys act like you've never heard, like you, you act like you've never heard me speak. Guys, I speak all the time when I'm on TV acting, I'm speaking. Why does it surprise you that I speak on social media like this? <laughs> um, you have parents, eh, where, eh, where I've got parents, I bo, man, kheliwena. Why, why, how is that even a question? Why did you cut your hair? You're so beautiful, by the way. I'm just saying, okay. I cut my hair because I just simply wanted um, some change. And I just wanted like a fresh new start. It's really not that deep, but it really felt so good when I did it. Like, just felt like a brand new beginning. And this year kind of feels like that for me. And you know, in the Bible... Number eight is a number of new beginnings. Number seven is a number of closed chapters. And now that I'm 28, I just, it feels like a good new beginning. Dindala, Nina. Respect. What happened to your voice? What happened to my voice? <laughs> I don't know. You guys always want to make things that are normal about me, that are exactly who I am. <laughs> abnormal you form a picture of who you think i am and you just want me to live up to it but unfortunately this is who i am do you hate dj zinke I, well why would i hate to dj zinke no i don't i really don't hate dj zinke uh, uh do you mc pro, uh, corporate events no what is your home language so my gran at home it's very tricky my gran would speak Tosa. so when i mean my grand's house is Tosa. And I met my grand's house is Kosa. My mom, man, she will, my mom, she speaks in Zulu. We would speak Isutu and also speak in Zulu. And then we also have Swati Incorporated. So, yo, I, I know my in. Yeah, I know my in. I know my in. I know my in. Makulumum Zulu, Zulu, Zulu. Naba bua se soto or se tswa na ketla bua lena ke bono roketa juan. Would you start your own reality show? No, not for now. Well, now it would be a blank, like period, capital letters. No, but I just never know what might happen in the future, so I never really like saying never, because you know you never know. 
Uh, okay, I've answered the reality show. Clan names. Ding nye lanes, ma pangu kuka wele wele mamzato. And we won't accept omnium to if I can hope. Yeah, you guys will be strong, Kengok. You guys will be strong. It's so funny. Shame, poor Pori. What if I'm not Pori's type? <laughs> you guys never really think about that, do you? <laughs> how do you... How much... How much... Are you... Oh, hey, you're okay, cool. Thank you. Would you marry a Zulu man? I would marry any man that fits into the my life, that has the same... Um, that I can relate to. That kind of wants similar things to me, and that 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 ha like that I have a great base of chemistry with, and is an amazing person, and takes off some of the characteristics and things that I'm looking in a person. It's not necessarily like I wouldn't date this, I wouldn't date that, I wouldn't date that, like you know what I mean. But it's more of like if it's someone that is a fit to me. I would love to see you working with Cindy. Like, ooh, that would be nice. What type of guy would you marry? I don't like telling guys my expectations and my requirements. I like seeing if someone matches it through who they truly are. Because I do feel like sometimes when you really express what you want to someone, especially guys, because nitriki, nitrichi, nitrichi. <laughs> Sorry, inside joke for me and my friends. But um, they like cut being like customizing themselves to appearing as though they are something that you want and then the cracks start showing within the relationship and also i wouldn't want to put someone in a in a position where they feel like they have to be who they're not so that they can match up to me it's either you do or you don't and you just never know sometimes you think you want one thing and then you meet someone who is totally different and you just match with you know <sighs> i i'm getting exhausted Sorry. Unamanga lol. Nina manga for in. Nina manga ngan. Nina telela yas nina. Do you eat ikota? Not you saying do you eat ikota. <laughs> do you eat ikota? Eh, hey, when I eat why not? Yo, nitanda. Are you Zulu now? Uh, why are you in a fighting mood? I'm not in a fighting mood. I just don't like if shit is shit is shit is shit. Like I'm not gonna be like, oh, you just you speaking shit. I accept. <laughs> Thank you so much. Just, I wanna know shit is shit is shit is shit, man. Masiye get a do kila na kubi.